three, two, one, testing. Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is the second part of the 13th anniversary celebration from Melody Susie. And in this video, I am going to be testing out the Jade Plus e-file for you. I didn't test it in the last video that I did. And if you didn't get to see that last video where I show the whole Melody Susie celebration box and what's inside of it, you can follow the arrow and watch that video up in the corner. So let's go ahead and get started. In the last video, you did get to hear what the e-file sounded like at all speeds and it was very quiet. You may notice that in this video as well. Now I'm gonna start out by doing just a little bit of cuticle work it just seems like every time that I get an e-file to introduce to you that that's one of the main things that I want to show you because for me cuticle work is important and you are going to be actually filing on your natural nail when you do cuticle work to prepare for any fills or any new nail enhancements and I always want to see just how slow I can get that e-file to go so that I can do my cuticle work and be safe. When I do cuticle work, I don't wanna be going very fast. All right, so I put in the cuticle bit. And I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my thumb. Go up to five. So we need to turn it in forward. Okay, here we go. Maybe go down just a little. Three. I always like to see how, how I always like to see how it feels when it's in low speed when you're doing doing cuticle work. I don't usually go any lower than that usually. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep. Feels pretty good to me. Good, good, good. Let's see how it really goes through hard acrylic. And yeah, so let's try that out. I have some very thick acrylic on this swatch stick here, as you can see. And I want to test the e-file and see how fast it can cut through this acrylic. Because we all know how hard acrylic is. And to do it, I'm going to be using this bit right here. It looks to be pretty coarse. So I think this will do the job. Put the bit in there. And then we will turn it back to the lock. There we go. And we need to be going in forward. Okay, let's just see how it does at like 10. Okay, and we'll just shave some off the top here. Okay. All right, let's just go full blast, 35. We're gonna see how it does. I mean, in reality, I don't think anybody's gonna be cutting through acrylic this thick. I don't know, maybe. Pretty good. You know, you may want to use even a coarser bit than this one. It would help, you know. Especially if you have to cut this much. I mean, look how thick that is. 
It's kind of unrealistic in real life. I mean, that's doing pretty good. No bogging down. Look at that. That did great. I mean, look at that. Look how thick that is. Huh. And that e-file did really good. And like I said, if you had an even more coarse bit, you could use that. I do have a more coarse bit, but I did want to use one of the bits that they sent. But yeah, that did pretty good. Pretty darn good, if I say so myself. I am very curious to see if this Jade Plus e-file will cut through the acrylic faster if I use a more coarse bit. Now over here is the one that I first used and that was in the Melody Susie package that they sent. And then this is mine right here. And as you can see, it is a very coarse bit. It will chew through anything. You can see the teeth basically stick out on it as compared to the one that I did use here. And this is the acrylic here. Look at how thick I made it. All right, so we're just going to take this e-file here, and we're just going to turn it all the way up to 35. No sense of playing around. We're going right to it. 35 RPMs. Oh, I, I got to steady it. It's kind of flimsy on this stick here. You know, it's plastic. Yeah. Oh, boy. Definitely not bogging down. Woo, yeah. I'm really pushing down. Wow, this one has a lot of torque. Well, need I say more? No, I think it passes the test. A very good e-file that has torque and power. And this is one quiet e-file. I mean, listen to that. Very nice. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.